Alright, so this is the Guild Castle content. A very kind GM and Nexon employee has helped us unlock everything um, in public research. Uh, so that's over here. Unfortunately for personal research, we can't really unlock those because I guess he would have to get on our accounts or something. I'm not really sure, but this would have taken a lot of time to finish. So it's really nice that he did this for us and I really appreciate it. Um, this is a lobby room. As far as I can tell, there's nothing much going on in here, I think. He's also helping us add the special rooms while I'm like streaming slash recording this. And I don't really know when he will be placing those, he just hasn't placed them. Other guilds can join the lobby. Yeah, I think you can open up the uh, your guild castle to other people visiting. This is the storage room. You can put furniture in here that you have. You can get. Um, there's a ton of furniture. Well, you know, 28. This is quite a lot. I can't place them because I'm not the guild leader right now. But hopefully later on I can put some down. Alright, what's this one? This one is the throne room? I'm not sure what else you can do in here too. Maybe you also decorate this one? Just gonna run through all the rooms real quick. We. Here's a library. I think you can AFK in here and read to gain traits and click on a bookshelf. I'm not sure which one means what, but this, oh, this one is ambition. There's a little system message that tells me which one this one is. This one is system, ambition. Let's see this one. I'm guessing because it's a coffee cup that it's uh, empathy maybe? I might have to wait a bit. This one told me it was Ambition because I've collected all my Ambition traits for the day. I'm not sure what this one is. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't tell me which one this one is. Maybe this one is Insight? This one looks like it could be Insight. I'm really not sure. That's kind of nice. This is the safe room. If I click on these doors, there's a system message that says the guild safe cannot be accessed in the reboot world. So there is no guild safe for reboot. There's a little personal safe here though. So this room unfortunately might not be too useful in reboot. What's this one? Oh yeah, every time you get a new room and the first time you get into it as a member, you get cutscened. What does the safe do? In regular worlds, your guild can put items in the safe, I think. But in Reboot, it doesn't do anything. There's just a personal storage. Oh, this is the AFK training room. Kind of like Mulong Dojo, like the one in Dojo. Oh, sometimes you'll see the guild cooperative mission available. That's because um, whenever a member gets a blueprint item, you can talk to this NPC to start a mission where everyone can donate items. Um, and you need items you can farm from mobs. So the GM is starting these missions and finishing them up for us. The personal storage is the same as all your other storage as far as I believe. 
I can put some items in there to try out. I think the supply station is something people are really excited about. Um, these are the items in the supply station. Should I just buy some of each? These have limits. Three per day, three per day. Oh, these only work inside of the Greed Infested Cache, which is the Guild Castle map for mobbing. So I guess you can't take these outside. I guess if you're having some trouble mobbing because they have a lot of HP, maybe you can buy some of these to help you out. I already bought the No Stone and tried it out. It is untradeable. And it also has a time expiration on it, but I didn't get to see the expiration, so maybe I'll come back later on my other character that's in this guild and check it out. You can buy one arcane symbol. Um, this blueprint, I already bought it and used it, and it just started one of the missions, but I can buy this one again. Maybe I'll get a message saying it's already done. What is this? What are these effects? Oh, you can transform! There's little transformation potions. I know some guilds on Reboot that would really like these. Kitty potion? Let's see. What can I use? Oh my goodness. Very cute. And you can buy... Three a day. Oh no, the white one you can buy three a day, but the brown one you can buy as many as you want. Oh god. <laughs> I did not expect this. This is kind of cool. I like this one. What about this? Oh. Oh, there's music too. Oh, it's a happy birthday song. Oh. That's so cute. That's pretty good. I wonder if it works if I use it inside, can I walk outside? Is there music? Oh no, that's it? It's just one off? Oh my goodness. If I walk outside the castle, does everyone see it? Oh. Is it gone? Oh, it's okay. We can still happy birthday. Even if it's after your birthday, we can do belated birthdays. I'm down for it. Now, did you guys notice that my name is on lowercase? That's because I only- I type in like lowercase too much, so they gave me a lowercase name in test server. Can I use it here? Nope, only cash of greed. I can't enter the cash of greed anymore because I hit the weekly cap this week, so I can't show it off in there, unfortunately. This is a flame, it expires. I'm guessing the node also expires at the same time? It's probably like a week's worth of time or something. I bought this coupon like earlier today, maybe, or yesterday to show what the server time is. Actually, I can just show you what the server time is here. Um, so 18 days after <laughs> whenever this was. I'll be, I'll try to be more precise later. <laughs> Mm, so these- none of these potions I can use right here. Oh, pets full- oh, we can buy pet snack? What is this? It's just potions? I'm not sure what this does. Maybe I need to go back outside? Looky, it's just a normal potion too. This is also just a normal potion. Oh, thank you for the follow. I forgot to turn off my alerts before I started recording this. Oh, I'm a new guildmaster now. 
It says there's a cooldown for swapping rooms, so be aware. We currently don't have a way to bypass that cooldown, so heads up. And he handed back to me. He handed the room back to me. He's so kind. What a great guy. Off to this GM, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell you who he might be. Here I am, the guild leader again. Let me try the scroll again. Ah. Uh, oh, return to a nearby town. Huh, I'm not sure how this one will work. I can't use it here either. <laughs> Where would I use it? It's a mystery. Alright, well tell me if you guys figure out what this does, I'll put it right there as a reminder. Oh, well, that's that tab. Um, and that's everything in this shop. Let's look at this shop. There's outfit. Uh, well, you know how I am, my inventory. Can I equip all three of these totems? Let's see. Oh, I can't wear it because it's an overall. I have to throw some stuff away. I'm throwing these room four shields away. Goodbye. Let me see if I can take off my... Oh gosh. Yeah, unfortunately this is full too and I can't get into the CS. Um, let me try to get uh, rid of some items. I can't. All of my presets are full of items. I cannot hide away my NX, unfortunately. Let's see. I'm surprised at how little things you can actually incinerate. Okay, now I can show off the outfit a little bit. Uh, I can't un un unequip the weapon. I'll just equip this. Alright, that's what it looks like. It's kind of cute. It looks like the Red Maple Noble set, but it's uh, blue it, instead of red. And it just has some stats on it. Oh, it came flame too. Wow. Has a little set effect. Level 100. I don't really know how worth it these are, but I guess people can do the math themselves. It's untradeable, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and slap my NX back on. And then... Let's see, can I... Oh, there's a cape too. I forgot. There you go. I'm gonna try to go ahead and, and flame it. There you go. This is what I got out of it. Is this just Frozen set? Well... Maybe people can get some usage out of this for their legion. Alright, let me put my armor back on real quick. Okay. And then let's see if I can equip all the totems. Back into the supply shop I go. No, you can only buy one of these a day. Can I buy multiple of these? Oh, it's a unique equipped item, so I can't. Goodbye. Oops. There you go. You can wear all three. And it comes with a little set effect. Pretty neat. 
my quest back on. And then that's it for the quick tag, and then there's a chair. I wonder if I can chair in here. Uh, this one is Afterlands. Afterlands is 3 set effect. So, you guys can compare on your own. Here's a chair, very cute. It defaults to the purple book. I'm a very big fan of this kitty potion. This is really funny. How long does that last? Can I tour the place being really small? Five minutes of being really small? Here it is, the uh, dining room. Not sure what you can do. I think you can decorate again, maybe? Oh, I can put something right there. Oh. Um. Where do I put these things? <laughs> I don't really know how to do this. Oh. down some furniture. Oh. It's like the house system? Oh my goodness. Ta-da! Can I attack with the click the piano? I need to get closer. Unable while transfer- No! Alright. Oh, 47 seconds. Alright, we can move on to something else. Does it change the music when I go back to the lobby? Oh, it does. Well, I guess just, you can just play music in there together. I think we went, went into this one already. This is a training room, right? We can just AFK here for some EXP. I wonder how long it takes. Oh, he'll tell me about it. Oh, I can buy these things. Oh, I'm not- I'm not any of these levels. <laughs> oh, I won't get any experience either. Oh, I didn't transfer a low enough character to benefit from this. Oh no. <laughs> Wait. Wait, is that one billion mesos? Oh gosh. Well, if you're a chair collector... I have no idea what the experience is like here. I can't test it. Unfortunately, I am over the level limit. Let's see what other rooms we have. Um, that might be it for now. But I know there's some special rooms, so we can try to place those down. Oh, you can register again. I'm not gonna click a set because I'm pretty sure we've already given the room, so I don't want to break it. Okay. Let's see, how can I change the rooms? Oh, settings? Oh, here's all of my special rooms. Conference room, enhancement altar, pool, party room, greenhouse. So there is apparently a cooldown. So I'm going to try to put in the Enhancement Altar first, because I think that's what people want to see. Oh, I can just click drag. That's pretty nice. Oh, wow. Let's see, here are the special rooms. The guild save doesn't do anything. Let's put the conference room in the middle. The altar. Where do you guys want the altar? 
Maybe we want the altar in the middle because we love tapping or something. Reading can go in the corner, nobody does that. Supply station. I like the supply station, we'll make it put it down here. Normal rooms? Maybe I want people to get to the storage more easily, so I'll put it down here and then we'll put some of the fun rooms over here. I'll take out the... Oh... There's so many new rooms, we can't look at everything. I'll take out- Oh, I wanted to test the storage room. I'm gonna take out the supply station for now. Well, actually, I'll put the supply station back in. There. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the greenhouse in here. Does that look good? How do you get enhancement altar? So, supposedly bosses drop the blueprints, and then you have to talk to this Benedict NPC to start a quest for your guild. Okay, I'm gonna say setup is complete. I think everything else we've seen. Okay. Did we do it? Maybe I need to leave and come back in. Oh, here's the greenhouse. Okay, I know everyone wants to see the enhancement room, so I'm gonna go into the enhancement room first. And then I'm gonna get cutscene because there's a cutscene for every new room I haven't been in. Alright, we can go to the altar. Holy! Okay, wow! Wow, star catching will apply automatically, okay. What are we putting in here? You know, I probably actually have a 21 item somewhere. Do we want to see if it will go? Let me look around. I know I have a 21 star somewhere. How do I do this? Oh, I can click on it. Okay, here we go. Here's the rules. Anvil can be used for 180 seconds, used again in 200 seconds. If it will be, uh, if someone's already using it, it'll be available after relative time has ended. So I get three minutes with it, and then it has a cooldown. Oh gosh. All right. Oh my God! There's my item. <laughs> Oh, late. One user at a time. It looks like it, and it you get three minutes to do this. Oh! Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Very tragic. Wait, it says it's 12 stars. Well, there you go. <laughs> But it looks like you don't have to start catch it. it applies it automatically. You want me to you want me to do something else? Locked item. Oh, do I have to cancel? Put something else on here? Let's see what happens after it kicks me out. Oh no. It doesn't- you can't tell when someone fails. It just stays the same. I wonder if Star Force events would work here. Hopefully. This is a really cool room. I really hope someone in my guild finds the blueprint for this. See, like, you gotta stand on one side, and then you gotta, like, put your, like, luck sacrifice on the other side. So you can, like, siphon their luck from them, you know? And then your item's in the middle to catch it as it flows to you, you know? Oh wait, right there, it showed the fail.
Oh, it does show you the fail now. No safeguard? Okay, sure, I'll safeguard for you guys. Why not? Are you guys gonna make me use up all of my test server meso? Oh god. Oh wait, I'm no longer on the altar, it ended. Oh, 11 seconds. Oh wait, so you get, there's a 20 second cooldown only. Oh, so maybe it's to let someone else have a turn? My turn, my turn. No! Okay, this is kind of addicting. Very sad. Wow, this is tanky. I gave it a shot. That's enough for me in this room. Maybe someone else will have better luck in here. It's not for me, I think. They can see when you go back down to 12. Yup. Okay, let's see what else there is. I think this is the conference room. This is one of the new rooms. No 23s today. Unlucky. Did they? Yes, they. Uh, nice GM Max the Castle for me. I don't know if I can say his name. Actually, I cannot pronounce his name even. But they logged on and did everything. It was really great. Only the guild leader can set the configuration, by the way, and you can't fit all of the rooms, unfortunately. You can vote in here. Alright, what do I do here? Oh my god. Please enter the meeting topic. Okay, what's the meeting topic? This is not my idea. Meeting in progress. Oh. I don't know what this means. Click the- okay, vote? Is this lit? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh nah. Oh wow, look at all the time you have to vote. Wow. This is kind of cool. Alright, enough meeting. Thank you for coming. Should have started with a nice breaker. That's a supply room on the right there. We've been there. Pool.
I bet this is like the most we'll ever even see of this guild castle content because it takes quite a long time to max it out. And I hear in TMS that it's still not even maxed. I don't know if that's true or not. But I don't know if they had got a chance to show everything off like this. This was really nice of them to do for us. Slide. Oh my god. Get a little inner tube. Anyone that comes to the pool in uh, not a swimsuit NX gets kicked. Or summer themed NX. God, it makes a weird noise. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make a noise when you hit the bottom Wait, am I stuck? Wait, I'm stuck! Oh, you can jump, okay <laughs> I got scared What's a tube kiosk? Oh, I can change! Wait, let's see Let me out Oh my god. Imagine all your guildies AFKing in here in the stupid tube. <laughs> wow. We might as well try them all. Wait. Maple Story player control their character challenge. Oh my god, <laughs> what the? This one's a floating tray. Let me try the flamingo one. Hey man, we got reboot paper money. This is a. Uh, I guess you gotta have one person having. Like, one person has to have that, right? Someone's gotta bring the snacks. What's the flamingo one? Oh, Flamingo one is exactly what I expected it to be, huh? I just can't get over the bouncing sound. Okay, the swimming pool is actually kind of good. I can decorate in here too, I think? Oh. Right here. Let's see. Form of a droplet. No. Is there any like swimming pool e furniture? Mm. You know what? We'll just leave it here. That seems vaguely water themed, I guess. I like the music in here too. It's really nice. Yeah, I'm not very original. <laughs> water droplet for the pool. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, it has my level in candles. That's crazy. Oh, there's a gift box? Oh my god, look at all of these. Holy. Wow, there is so much stuff. I don't even know where to get started with. All right. Okay, goes into use inventory. I, th I think my inventory is full. It is not full. Nice. All right, I bought a bit of everything. Wow, you can crowdfund the decorations. Oh my god, look, the little blue balloons and the other balloons. Wow. Can Let me try the different cakes. Oh, wow. I think this was the most expensive cake. Right? Yeah, that was the most expensive cake. Oh, I haven't tried the chocolate cake. Let's try the chocolate cake. Oh, chocolate cake.
A little some little triangle garland in the background. Oh, you can change it. Oh, you guys can fly over how to decorate the room, I guess. Some more candles. These all replace each other. Can you blow the candles? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I can interact with them in any way. Maybe I put in something. Like my age. Holy. You can't do two digit numbers. I guess that's it. That's pretty cute. I'm gonna go see if the supply station happy birthday music works in here too. Look at how much money I've used. That took like half my money. Help. <laughs> this is kind of expensive for more fun stuff. Which one? I think Heart Goes Pew Pew is happy birthday. Where'd it go? Oh wait, that wasn't it! I don't know which one it was! I'm sure it'll work in here. Someone else can be the first to play the happy birthday song in the birthday room, in the party room. Oh, scatter pollen. Alright, let me try to get that one. Seconds. I have to wait. There we go. Wow. Very cute. I wish I had more money. This was quite expensive, but you can have a pretty cheap birthday party for like. You know, you can do 600 mil. Oh, no, the price is kind of funny. Um, you know, you can just give them one candle. Oh, it's a different color candle, I see. These only last until reset. There you go. I should put 19, you know, because I'm 18 going on 19. My bad, next time. Pink house. More cutscenes. I think this is just another room to chill in. It's very pretty though. I clicked on placement mode and looks like we can put something right here. Some plants maybe? A mystery rock. Snail. I'll do the mushroom statue. This is also cute. Can I flip this? I think I can flip this, right? Oh yeah, there we go. Very nice. 
Yeah, it looks like this room is- this space is big enough to accommodate anything from a small to a large item. I decided to put the mushroom statue there. Can I sit here? In these chairs? Nope. I'm just sitting in whatever chairs first in my inventory. Wait, how come I put this room in here? I didn't want this room in here. Did I do it wrong? Dining room, lobby, we've seen those. Training area, library, guild safe. Oh, maybe I left it blank. Well, looks like that's all. I think that's all the stuff that's in the guild castle right now. Like I said, my personal research didn't get leveled up, but that's probably okay for now. Um, I'll mouse over all of these so people can see the final values. I won't say too much about it because reading takes too long, so we can take a look. Scrolling down. Alright, I think that is all. Um, looks like, yep, that is it for Guild Castle for this patch. There's a lot of pretty cool things. This uh, altar is so fun, but I feel like for me, it's a little cursed. So maybe I won't be coming back here anytime soon. I already blown up two items in here, but it's really cool. Um, there's a combination of rooms that you can unlock through progression through your public research and also through getting blueprint items from just guild members killing harder bosses it looks like. I'm not sure exactly how that would function, but I'm willing to maybe take a look in here. Because the blueprint for one of the room, for the conference room, it was called a blueprint or something. Oh, here we are. These items. You gotta find these items and then do a quest. Um, it's not really a quest, but like a collection quest and have your guild members contribute to building the room together. So, that is about it. I actually did do Hard Lotus on test server yesterday and I did not get anything because I wanted to brute force unlocking a room. I was hoping it would be easy and free. It was not easy and free. So, you know, make sure you do your hot boss list and take drop coupons into hard bosses. Maybe you can get this room too.